okay? Just very distinguished. Let me log on to Sephora.com and give y'all the statistics, you know? I don't want any questions. <laughs> Do I need to brush? I don't know. What up, it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are going over my whole entire fragrance collection. Now, I already feel like I'm going to have to do this video again and again and again and again and again. And the reason why is because your girl is on a fragrance freak show trill rain train ride. Listen, I'm just really, really into fragrance and have been collect- is, is my camera crooked? Bless God. I've been all about it. It's like even just the, the word choice, fragrance, you know, it's no longer body spray. If you're, if you're wearing body sprays, I want to talk to you. If you're over the age of 21, 20, and you're still wearing body spray, I want you to take my number down. I want you to give me a call. Things that some of our moms did not tell us, body spray is for children. I'm gonna show you all my fragrances and do my best to describe them for you. I'm not a perfumista. I've just been getting a lot of questions about what fragrances I have. I share them often on my IG, IG stories and I, 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 just, I just love it. So I'm so excited to show you what I've got. I've got them in this really cute spiraling situation. Put it on your countertop, your closet, what, wherever you like to go to spray on your fragrance. First fragrance I'm gonna share with you <laughs> Okay, so not only is this cute because it's light pink, like, hello. This is the replica Ma Maison Magella. First of all, let me just tell you that Tiff Benson, if you're not following her, follow her, okay? She is getting my whole entire fragrance life together. She schools me, okay? Some of these I asked her about and purchased, and I love. So, Tiff Benson, love you, girl. Maison Margiela, I was seeing this a lot online, and I'm sure you were too, and if you haven't, you're seeing it now. I was just like, what is the whole deal with this replica? At first I was like, what does that mean if it's be a replica? Like, is this a dupe for the actual fragrances? You know how on the mall they have those stands in the middle and it'd be like bootleg fragrances and it's like mad cheap? Like, is that what this means? Why is it called replica? So I took it upon myself during the Sephora sale to get a sample pack from Sephora of these and I smelled and sprayed all of them and I identified a few that I actually like. And this was one of them. This is the Springtime in the Park. Okay, it's a park, not a park. In a park, not the, uh, okay, praise the Lord. I realized, oh, that's why it's called replica. So it's replicating springtime in the park. I understand now because they have one called like jazz fireplace something and it literally smells like a jazz parlor that's burning a fire, like burning firewood. I like this, okay? And this gives me a little chi chi. It tells me all the fragrance notes, praise the Lord. Cause like I said, I'm not Tiff Benson. I'm gonna do what I can. So you got blossoms and fruity notes in this one, okay? And apparently, if not just this one and maybe all of them, this is a unisex fragrance. Although I can't imagine my husband wanting to wear this though. It's not his style. Just smells so good. Now, I was almost, I almost vomited when I looked right now online because I then noticed, I've been on a vine spree with fragrances so I don't always look at everything. I noticed that this is a toilette. Uh, the toilette. And I'm like, what? Toilette means like body spray, in my opinion, because it's not gonna last as long. So I'm like, dang it, why'd I get a toilette? I shouldn't have gotten this, but I got sucked in because everyone's talking about replica. Oh, whatever, it's fine. This is a huge bottle, okay? This is the 3.4 ounce bottle. It'll last me a while. I know I'm dramatic, okay? So be ready for that. The uh, the uh, mm? The uh, the parfums will last longer because as far as I know, they got oil in them, okay? Not coconut oil, not canola oil, not palm oil the oils that go in fragrances, whatever that means, okay. So this is not gonna last as long, but it's really beautiful. It's got a soft, beautiful scent to it, and this could quite possibly be paired with another if you want it, or worn by itself. I would might wear this like to go to bed, so I do wear fragrance to go to bed. If you're not, again, again, grown folks business. Like it's grown folks stuff. Put your fragrance on morning and night. I don't get it. Okay, and that 30.4 ounce bottle is $130. First Lord, I got that in the Sephora sale. Okay. Now this next one is an Eau de Parfum. Okay, so is that annoying you? Can you comment below and let me know? Is that annoying when I say Eau de Parfum? I think it's real obnoxious, but like in a very funny way. Eau de Parfum. Okay, this is Giorgio Armani, and I feel very fancy when I say Giorgio. Okay, I'm gonna say Giorgio. I'm gonna say Giorgio. 
Okay. Love the bottle, really cute. This I got sucked into because I was seeing a lot of influencer campaigns. Yo, you might think that we don't get influenced, but I've been influenced a lot of times. In fact, what tipped me over the scale to get Replica was when Andrea Renee talked about this in one of her vlogs. I was like, wait a minute, if Andrea got Replica, I need to get Replica. Like, it, I, I kept seeing it and it was like, enough is enough. The Giorgio My Way was not on my radar at all. And I saw Hyatt Rita talking about it. I think to Vince talked about it. I was like, wait, I'm being influenced by influencers. What's going on here? So I picked it up. I do like it. This is the 1.7 Ounce. And it's got a unique scent. Like this isn't just, this is not for me an everyday scent. It's like, it smells like money. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me try and pinpoint. There's a certain fragrance, a note, excuse me, this is fancy talk right now. Let's read what the notes are, okay? Woody and floral scents. Yeah, so I get the woody and the floral. Bergamot meets Egyptian orange. Maybe it's the orange blossom. Maybe it's the bergamot. What does bergamot smell like? Oh, it's got Indian tuberose and jasmine in it. Maybe it's the Indian tuberose. I just imagine and that's what is standing out. Yo, as I read the fragrance, I'm like, yo, this is bomb. I didn't look at this before I bought it. I just bought it. I was just like, if they love it, I love it. You know, you know how you just like trust people that you've never met a day in your life, like me, praise the Lord. I like this a lot. <laughs> so if you trust me, this is one of them. Why is that so funny? I'm tickled by that. So if you trust me, this is an option. I like this. <laughs> And the 1.7 ounce bottle is $97. Okay, so now as, I, as I'm taking a look at my collection, I have a lot of pink fragrances. Now that man may not mean anything to you, but pink is one of my favorite colors, okay? So that's not a coincidence. Next we have Gucci Flora. With this one, I don't recall seeing promotions, but look how beautiful the bottle is. Like what? If you're like me, you buy makeup sometimes based on the packaging. So why not do the same when it comes to your fragrance? Like, hello, how cute with a little bow tie. Ow. This is the 1.6 ounce bottle. Model. Yes, I like this one. This is one that I have pumped into an atomizer. I'm from Ghana. Atomizer, 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 atomizer. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. I will never know how you pronounce this, okay? But I have it pumped into an atomizer. <laughs> I'll link to you the, the reel that I made on how to do this. It's wicked, excuse me, it's wicked easy. But you just pump it into here, so this goes into your purse, and then you have your travel fragrance with you. So this is in my purse. I like this a lot. Oh my God, this is also a toilette. Okay, this is so strange because on the bottom, this is a 1.6 ounce, but online, they've only got 1.7. There's no 1.6 option. Anyway, this is also a toilette. Well, bless God. I mean, this does last pretty well on me, you know? I like this a lot. This one is $80, and and it's a floral scent, obviously. Keynotes of red berries, pear, white gardenia. It's a fruity floral scent. If you understand, that's what it is. Yes, 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 yes. Fruity floral, definitely different from replica. I don't wanna spray everything because then I'll be up in here choking and stuff. I like this as well. If you like floral scents, then I definitely recommend this for you. It's pink, it's beautiful, like it's cute. You know, why not? This next one is Valentino. Wait, what's going on? Okay, here we go. The next one is is Valentino Donna born in Roma. <laughs> this bottle is absolutely stunning. You just wanna get this bottle just to have. It reminds me of those bottles that rich men put their hard liquor in. This just says distinguished. Just very distinguished. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle. It's a hundred dollars. This is also a floral scent. So apparently I like floral scents. It's a warm floral, okay? It's got notes of black currant, jasmine grandiflorum. Wow, grandiflorum. Mm -hmm. And bourbon vanilla, yeah. This bottle looks like some you would put bourbon in. This smells so, so good. So the bottle is designed with the iconic Valentino stud. Yes. Ooh, love. Also pink, hello. Okay, so this next one, I have recently been seeing some from some influencer ads on this and I was like, I already have that and I do like it a lot. This I got as a sample when I bought something from Sephora one time and I was like, ooh, I like it. And again, the small one, because it dawns on me, I have so many fragrances, I don't know when I'm gonna finish any of these. So there's no need to get the large size in all these fragrances. You just need a little bit, you see? It'll last a while. So I got the small one. So I got the one fluid ounce and this is $85. Look at this cute. Thing. This is the cute bottle again. It's pink. I just love it. Let's smell it again. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I'm reminded. I'm reminded. Gosh, this smells so good. Is it warm? I knew it. I knew it. I could tell. So this is a warm and spicy fragrance. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. Gourmands. 
lips, you know? Keynotes of jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. I like patchouli. Oh, I actually wish I got a bigger size in this one. If I finish this one, I'm just gonna buy a new one. I mean, this is fantastic. Oh, we're getting down to the bottom. I don't have as many as I thought I did. Ah! Oh no, I actually do have quite a bit. Oh, praise the Lord. Okay. Okay, now this next one was sent to me and I was like, oh, okay, come on, Ralph Lauren. Thank you so much. This is their Pink Pony fragrance. This is really overexposed, but you get the idea. It's white with a pink pony on it. <laughs> this is the 3.4 ounce bottle. It's $88. And now that I smell it, it reminds me of another one I have. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. I think it reminds me of Gucci My Way. I mean, excuse me. Gucci Flora. Wow, it closely resembles Gucci Flora. I just realized that. Hold on, let's take a look and see what the details are. No way. So first of all, the Pink Pony Fund is an initiative to fight against cancer. It supports programs for screening, early diagnosis, treatment and research, and patient navigation. Oh, 15% of the retail price goes to the Pink Pony Fund. It really reminds me of Gucci Flora. It does. Yo, legit. Okay, so there's that one. So this next one is Givenchy Irresistible. Irresistible. Oh my goodness, my French accent is so offensive, but alas. This was sent to me and I was so excited. I was like, wait, I'm getting fragrance? Hold on a second, we've arrived. Not really, but like, we can pretend. I was like, wait, hold on a second, Givenchy. You, be, you know who I am? Like, you know who I am? <laughs> Hello. This smells good. It's a floral. Come on. I love a good floral scent, okay? Yes. This is also in one of my travel containers because it's a it's a familiar scent and obviously as you can see, she's been used. Yeah. It's got key notes of sparkling pear, luscious rose, and blonde wood. Hmm. What does that mean? I just think it means amazingness. And you know, this is the one point it smells very rich. It smells like this is the 1.7 ounce and it's $93, okay? Love this one as well. <laughs> All right, now this next one was sent to me as well. This is the Vince Camuto Brilliante, okay? This is a big old bottle, honey. This is 3.4 ounces for $90, okay? This is a floral as well. A really beautiful bottle, love the detailing of it. Yeah, so this one, it had to grow on me. I won't lie. I was like, there's something in it that is like striking. This one has base notes of juicy pear, black currant, gardenia petal. It has heart notes of jasmine, orange blossom, finished with white cedar, cashmere woods. If I'm not mistaken, the Giorgio Armani My Way also has orange blossom in it. Is that what's... Yes, that is what it is. Unless I'm mistaken, you comment and let me know. Yes. Giorgio Armani has orange blossom in it. And it's it's a very distinct scent. Like it's, it, to me, it's just right away, that's ex that's what I smell. And at first I was like, hmm, what is that? It had to grow on me. And so this one, yes. So this one's more warm, it's different. Yeah, cause it has the cashmere woods, yeah. It had to grow on me. Like I had to keep on smelling it, I had to spray it, I had to really feel it out. Because you know, these fragrances will really mix with your own body's chemistry. What lotion did you put on? What body soap did you use? What are the natural scents or odors? or you know what have you emoting from your skin that kind of thing it had to grow on me it wasn't like a oh it was like a what but yeah i like it i do like it <laughs> and that big bottle is 90 dollars. now if you are anybody on this earth even in high school or at least like beginning of college then you had dolce and gabbana light blue i mean you gotta come and let me know i was we knew about dolce and gabbana light blue before we understood what it meant to pay bills on time you understand this is old school and i've actually had this particular fragrance like this container right here for maybe 10 years <laughs> if you've been following me on instagram then you will know that i talked about how growing up no one taught me about fragrances for me a fragrance was something to be worn on special occasions only because it cost so much, you know? The body sprays you buy at Bath & Body or Victoria's Secret were way cheaper. Even CVS, girl, please, you know what I'm saying? So a fragrance, it was like, wait a minute, $90, hold on a second. This is only gonna come out on special occasions. And this is the 3.3 ounce bottle for $104. So it was like, uh-uh, we can't waste this. So I've had this particular one for a while. And it wasn't until I got older and I realized like, yo, a woman of a certain age really needs to have a scent to her. I just love that idea. And I was like, listen, I worked too hard. If it runs out, I'll buy another one. And that'll be that. So that's my mentality right now. Cause I want to smell good, okay? Okay, this is fresh, yep. Yep, yep, fresh citrus and fruits. It's got citrus, apple, and bamboo. Yes, 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 yes. 
And this is an eau de toilette. <laughs> I didn't know that either, but it be lasting. Don't drink a bottle of light blue. I feel like it's a fragrance that even if you don't know about fragrances, when someone has it on, you're like, you run light blue? Like to me, light blue smells good on everybody. Now, Nest fragrances, you know, I've been wearing for some time now as well. I bought Wild Poppy because I got it as a sample after I bought something from Sephora. And I was like, wait, I like this. So I kept it in my wish list. And when I had some money, I purchased it. Now, now this is an Eau de Parfum. <laughs> Okay, and this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle for $74. It's in the fruity floral fragrance family. I like floral, you know. It's got Rose de Grasse. What? Rose de Grasse? Grassi? Mm-hmm, Himalayan jasmine and pear. Yes, I like this a whole lot. I mean, I was wearing this all the time and I had to put it on bed rest and I'm trying to rotate through some other fragrances, but I like this a lot. That's one of the brands that I would say is worth getting the gift set to smell the different fragrances and find out which one you might like. Now I did pick up a fresh cream fragrance from Philosophy. And interestingly enough, one day I was in the store and I was just sniffing different fragrances and I was like, this smells really good. And it was nostalgic. Two fluid ounce bottle and it's $45, so very affordable. This reminds me of an upgrade of a Victoria's Secret body spray. You know, like the vanilla one, literally, this is what it is. But I remember smelling it and liking it. So during the Sephora sale, I picked this one up too. This I wouldn't say is a must. If you're younger and you feel like fragrance just seems too old lady-ish for me, I feel like this would be a great option for you to get because it's light, it's vanilla, it's affordable. You can't really beat it. So I've layered this and I've also worn this to bed so yeah this is also a good option now clearly I love fragrance and I love my fragrances and my lotions as well now if you've seen my Sephora video for their VIB sale then you know that I mentioned the Brazilian bum bum cream it is a favorite in our house okay love it so so much when I realized that they came out with a fragrance I was like hold up I was like wait I have to get that fragrance okay this smells literally like the lotion. What I love about it is that now I have the option to smell like the lotion without actually having the lotion on. And not to mention, this is an eau de parfum. So that means it's gonna last long. <laughs> so it's an absolute no brainer. If you've ever tried the Brazilian bum bum cream, and you know that this is the original, and I'm saying this because the yellow bottle is the yellow container, is the original one. They've got a blue one. I think a purple one. I like all of them. I'm not a fan of the packaging. This thing looks strange. This thing looks like a strange woman. It smells so, so good. It's very affordable, $78, and it's an eau de parfum. So, you know, you can't beat it. Now, obviously, if I was wearing the body cream, I would not put this on with it. Oh my goodness. Talk about a choke fest. This is a Caribbean, Brazilian vacation on steroids. This is, I'm going to the beach. This is not, you don't wear this fragrance to an interview, unless you're interviewing at the club. You know, I, I just don't get it. Like, it's very like, oh, we on the beach in the Caribana. Mm, 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 mm. You know, you got on your two piece. Your skirt with the frills, you know, like you got on your sun hat. This is very beach vibes. I love, <laughs> I love this fragrance. Oh, and speaking of, so funny, I have the body mist. <laughs> but no need for this because now they got the fragrance, honey. Ow. Okay, so I was literally in Sephora the other day. I really had no business being there, but while I was picking up the new Fenty Powder Foundation, I just had to go over to the fragrance section. Listen, I was familiar with this fragrance because Sephora had sent me a sample pack and I was like, oh, I've never heard of this and it smells really, really good. But I couldn't recall which one I liked. So the lady there sprayed every one of them for me. I like it a lot. 1.7 ounce Eau de Parfum spray and it's $78, okay? It's a fresh fragrance family. It's got fresh citrus and fruits in it. It's got key notes of rhubarb, Australian sandalwood, island, I can't even read, island gardenia, yeah, hi. It's just got something definitely sparkling. You know what, I don't have fragrance on right now. I'm gonna spray this because it's just so, yeah, like it's got this like, yeah, like a sparkling wine kind of a scent to it. I like it a lot, hello, ow. So Floral Street, I've not heard of Floral Street talked about online. Now that doesn't mean that I've I've watched every video and I follow every person. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, I need more. I need more. Hold on. Hit him behind the ears. Hit him behind the ears. Hit him behind the ears. Praise, praise him. Yes. Oh yeah. Now we're in business. Do you spray your hair with your fragrance? Tell me. Are you? Do you even wear fragrance? 
also down. Moving on to my last. Now, granted, I do have like a lot of other sample fragrances that I've just gotten either from, you know, like after you purchase something, just other random, like small bottle fragrances. I'm not gonna go over right now. I wanna go over the ones that I have actual large bottles for. Two of my last fragrances, they are fan fantastic and they are the most expensive ones that I have. I saved them for last. You know, make your wish list, you know, and purchase as you can, as as the Lord leads you to, and if you have money. So praise the Lord, this is the Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. Oh my goodness. And this is an Eau de Parfum. It's a cologne intense. They have the clear bottles, which aren't as intense. I'm not sure if that's a toilette. I'm not sure what that is. It's strong. Don't need much. It lasts forever. I mean, if you spray your skin and your clothes, and let's say it's a jacket that you just aren't washing right now, you're gonna put it back on, you're gonna smell this. If you have the money and you mean business, you need to buy a Jo Malone fragrance, period. That's it, end of story. This is the 3.4. It's gonna last me forever. Oh my gosh. This is $195, okay, praise the Lord. So I got this 20% off. So this one you do want to wait for a sale, unless you got that coin. That is a warm floral, hello, hello. Okay, it has keynotes of clove, damask rose, damask rose, I don't know, and oud wood. Obviously I love oud, ugh. Even if your account is overdrawn, you're gonna smell like you got something. This is very much for a woman of a certain age. I mean, in order for you to really appreciate this fragrance, you've gotta be, I think, in your 30s or above. Ugh, like, this is amazing. I wish I would've put that on today. <laughs> it's that fantastic, okay? And then, my last but not least fragrance is, aside from the Floral Street fragrance, this is a recent purchase, and this is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Now, if you're familiar, they've got a body, like a sparkling body oil. This is the Eau de Parfum, and there's a different price point for this one. So the 1.7 ounce bottle is $250. I have seen people talk about this, especially in YouTube videos, and I was like, yo, this has gotta be amazing. And this is so good. Like, I had to be reminded. This is really new, it's like a week, a week old. I had to be reminded about what it smells like. I do like it, warm and spicy. Warm and sweet gourmands, bergamot. There was something else that has bergamot. You've heard that before in this video. It's got keynotes of bergamot, pistachio, sign us up pistachio too, and coco de mer. Maybe it's called de mer. Ooh, it has cardamom. That's a lotion I got over here too from Jo Malone. Seductive cardamom. Ooh, and it has refreshingly decadent ylang ylang. Ylang ylang. Is the Y silent? Let's move on. It exudes the endless pursuit of sun and luxury. Oh yes, come on. Uh, bottle has an architectural look of a chess piece and the mom monumental beauty. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is seductive. This is good. This is good. It's a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? You gotta spray her very, very modestly, you know? Very pricey, very worth it. And that's what I got right now. If I get any others, I'm happy to do an updated video for you. But if you have any of these fragrances, have been thinking about any of these fragrances, want to get any of these fragrances, or have some other suggestions, because I do listen to your suggestions. Y'all be like, uh, oh! Okay, so I did purchase the YSL Libra something something, but I purchased it for my mom for Christmas, but I wanted it for myself, but I was like, let me just slow down. But yeah, like when y'all tell me like, yo, I like this, I like that, I go smell it, and if I like it, I'll get it, you know? So let me know if you have any fragrance loves of your own that you wanna share with me or with all of us to enjoy and pick from. Links are below. I'm glad you watched the video. Let me know if you like and loved it. This is a long one. I'm glad that you watched the whole thing. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.